Hello everyone, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you guys can set up your own realistic first person camera. So, in my most recent series I've been doing, um, it's how to make a realistic Roblox horror game. And I got a lot of requests asking how I did the system with the camera. Basically, when you move your mouse, it sways to the side you move. And when you walk, it has a realistic, you know, bobble, side to side, up and down type feel. So, um, I'm going to be showing you guys how you guys can implement that into your games and make the camera system feel a little bit more immersive and give off a more realistic feel. So I made it a model, so it'll be linked in the description. Go ahead and pick it up and I'm going to be showing you guys how to set it up. So once you have it picked up, you're going to go to toolbox, my models, and it should be right here. It says realistic first person camera. You're going to insert that. It's a, you can just click OK. And then it will get inserted into workspace it says ungroup and starter character scripts so you'll do exactly that you can go ahead and take this bring it down here and put it inside of starter character scripts and when you do you can just click ungroup and now if you play you could see it's already fully working in your game but i want to show you guys how you guys can change some of the values so oh and one other thing um go to starter player and set the camera mode to lock first person and then you can hit play so now when we load in you could see there is a camera sway and when you walk uh, there is a camera bubble side to side it's gonna be too slow for your walk speed um, the reason why it's as slow as it is is because in my game I have the walk speed set to really slow but you guys can change it to um, where is it walk effect you guys can change it to whatever you want so if you guys want to change it I change this value right here we'll do times one um, I think that should be good and let's see what it looks like now this might be too much yeah it's too much um, but you guys can experiment with these values here um, as well as these ones uh, and more importantly in the camera sway script to change the amount it sways from side to side so you could see when I hit play when I sway it's not that much like it's just you know it's barely noticeable but it adds a little bit of that feel if you guys want to change the amount that it sways change these values right here so instead of negative six six and six do like I don't know 10 10 and 10 oops and 10 so now when we hit play you could see it's a lot more and a lot more to the sides a lot more noticeable it kind of bugs out the more you like bring it up like the more you make those values higher but if you guys want more sway when you turn your camera um, that's how you do it but yeah like I said just experiment with the values see what you guys like you know it doesn't really matter if you guys make a mistake or anything you can just reinsert the model into your workspace and then start from fresh but uh it is completely yours to use use it in your guys games i didn't mean to do that use it in your guys games if you want to make your own realistic first person game use this in your game it um definitely enhances it more it gives the player more of like that realistic first person feel if you guys have any questions regarding this tutorial or the horror game series leave them in the comments below or you guys can leave them in my discord server which a link will be to in the description and yeah that's it for today's video if you guys enjoyed please like subscribe all that good stuff and as always i will see you guys in the next one